new videos every day. So you've just gotten a new prescription from the eye doctor. With thousands of frames to choose from, it can be hard to find the right one. My name is Rachel and I'm an optician. I'm gonna walk you step by step through the best frame for you. The first thing you wanna think about is the material your frame is made of. Would you like to have a plastic frame or a metal frame? Plastic frames are a good choice because there's several different colors that you can choose from. Plastic frames generally have a bridge that straddles your nose, which can provide more comfort for the pressure that's caused. Metal frames generally tend to be thinner in appearance than plastic frames. Metal frames also come equipped with adjustable nose pads, which can be beneficial if you had a hard to fit bridge. Another thing about metal frames is that they come in a variety of types of metals. Titanium and stainless steel are metals that are good for those who have sensitive skin or allergies to nickel composite metals. Now that you've chosen the material that your frame will be made out of, let's discuss size. First, you don't want to pick a frame that's going to be too narrow for your face. What that's going to do is do things like leave grooves in the side of your head that can be uncomfortable and ultimately damage the integrity of the frame over time. At the same time, you don't want your frame to be too wide for your face. What this is going to mean is several trips to your optician because they'll continue to slide down your nose. And also, it'll give you an appearance of a frame that's too large for you. Next, check the centration of your eye within the frame. The best fit is gonna be an equal distance from your pupil to every edge of the frame. Be careful though, if you choose a frame that is equally centered over your eye, it might not always fit properly. If that's the case, try another frame. Not only is the fit important on the frame, but also the appearance. Ladies, if you wanna look younger and more fresh-faced, look for a frame that has an upward pull at the outside corner. This is gonna to work to make you feel younger and look younger. It's very important to consider how your prescription will fit within a frame. Those of you who are nearsighted, will have a very thick edge along your frame. Those of you who are farsighted will have a very thick center to your, your lens. Picking a frame that accommodates your lens is very important on the aesthetics. If you don't mind having a thick edge showing, go for a frame that's semi-rimless. If aesthetic of your lens is important to you, pick a frame that has a full rim. If you have a mild prescription, any frame goes. Choose whatever your heart desires. When you're choosing your frame color, have fun. But remember, not every color works with every complexion. Pay attention to if your frame brings out a ruddiness in your skin or if it makes you look washed out. A frame that's a good color for you should enhance your natural features. Maybe make your cheeks look a little bit flushed, draw the color out in your lips, or make your eye color pop. Last, but certainly not least, you need to consider your face shape when you're choosing a frame. You may want something that's cute and catty up at the corners, but that might, need, might not be the best shape for you. If you have a heart-shaped face, most shapes are gonna flatter your face. Heart-shaped faces usually tend to have a high cheekbone, so be careful. When you choose a frame that cuts up too much, it's gonna make you have a full cheek. You wanna pick something that flatters your face. If you have a very strong, angular jawline, you wanna pick shapes that are softer, Ovals and circles and almond shapes tend to work well for somebody who has a very strong defined jawline. If you have an oval shaped face or you're a little softer, you might wanna consider something that has strong lines and sharp angles to it. A frame that balances your face shape well is ultimately going to be the most attractive on you. So maybe you're a bifocal wear or a progressive lens wear. Something that's important for you to consider is the depth of your lens. The most important part is having enough room below your pupil to incorporate your computer and your reading distance within the lens. This is one of the most important things when you're choosing a frame for a bifocal. So now we've talked about some general tips for picking the best fitting frame. So what do you do about the lenses? In the next video, we're gonna decipher all those things that the salespeople tell you at the lens counter. So maybe this is your first bifocal, or maybe you're gonna try a new one. There are several different bifocals that are available with and without a line. Bifocals can be confusing, but in my next video, I'm going to break it down and go over every option and what's right for you. Thanks for watching my video on how to pick the best frame fit for you. 
If you liked my video, give me a thumbs up down there. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And please subscribe to our channel. If you liked this video, we have hundreds of more alternative videos ranging from sexual health to psychology to mind control. So if you liked it, go ahead and click on me to enter the Psyche Truth channel.